Hello, I hope you're having a good day. In this video, I'm going to show you 15 useful keyboard shortcuts for Microsoft Teams. Stick around to the end of the video because I'm also going to show you how to use thousands of emojis in Microsoft Teams using just your keyboard. All the shortcuts I'm going to show you work on the Windows application, the Mac app, and on the web app. Where there are some slight differences on the web app, I'll show you those as we go through. And if you're on a Mac, then you just need to substitute Command every time I show you Control, or Option every time I show you Alt. So wherever you are in Microsoft Teams, if you want to go to the search bar to search something, you just press Control E or Command E on a Mac. Then you can type in whatever it is you want to search for. Also using the search bar, if you press Control and then backslash, you get a list of commands. These are really quick ways of getting various things done in Microsoft Teams. So for example, if you want to set Do Not Disturb, once you're here, you just type DND and then that sets you to Do Not Disturb until you set it otherwise. If you want to go to somewhere specific within Microsoft Teams, so you want to go to a particular team or a channel, you just press Control G or Control Shift G if you're on the web app. Once you've typed that, you can filter what you want by typing in the first few letters and that will take you to where you want to go. To open your settings menu, this is the same thing you'd get if you clicked on your profile picture in the top right, you just press control and then comma. This is a good time to tell you about an extra shortcut. So anytime you're in something you want to get back to where you were before, whether you're in the search bar or in the settings like this, just press the escape key and that takes you out of that menu and back to where you were. To navigate around Teams, particularly using the left menu bar, or the left app bar down here, all you need to do is press control and then the number of the item you want. So if you're in the default layout like I am at the moment, then number one will be activity, number two will be chat and so on. So if for example, I wanted to jump to activity, that would be control one. If I wanted to jump to my files, that would be control seven because it's the seventh item on the app menu. If you're in one of the apps that has a list, so things like activity or chat, you can use the left alt key and the down arrow to move down the list and the right arrow to move up the list. Anytime you're writing a message, whether that's in the chats or in the, a team channel, you can jump to the compose box by pressing alt, shift and C. Then you can expand your compose box by pressing control, shift, X. That takes you to the big compose window if you want to go back to the small compose, you just toggle it again by pressing Control shift x for a second time. Normally, if you're in the small message box, when you press Enter, that will send your message. If you want a new line instead, just press Shift-Enter, and that will give you a new line. If you're in the expanded box, then pressing Enter will give you a new line. If you instead want to send the message, you just press Control enter and that will send it straight away. Anytime you're writing a message and you want to attach a file, all you need to do is press Control and then O, and that will bring up the Attach File menu, which you can then navigate either with your mouse or with the keyboard. If you're in a meeting, there are two really useful shortcuts. You can press Control shift m to toggle your mute, so mute your microphone and unmute the microphone, and Control shift o will hide your video or show your video again. Anytime you want to see more shortcuts, press Control full stop, that brings up the shortcut menu with all the shortcuts available in Microsoft Teams. The other way to get to that is by going to your profile picture at the top and clicking on keyboard shortcuts from the menu. And the bonus tip, if you want to show emojis in your messages, you can get to a few emojis by clicking on the button in the menu bar at the bottom. To get to thousands more emojis, all you do is type a colon and then start typing a word. So if I type B, then I get a list of all the emojis starting with B. And if I specifically wanted to have a picture of a baby, I would just type in the word baby and then hit enter and then I've got that picture in my message. I hope you found this video useful. Please like, subscribe for other videos on technology that's helpful for teachers.